If you bring the awareness in the dream state, you will be able to control all the activities of all the layers in that state. Plus, you are going to get some knowledge of that state first hand. You will know the illusion, how it is being created. And you will be able to do some fun things like uh, fulfillment of desires. Or you will get some amazing kind of entertainment which is uh, not possible in uh, the waking state. Even, even if you spend millions, you are not going to get that kind of entertainment. So that is why there is so much attraction for these kinds of practices among people. And most of them, they fail. One in a million is able to achieve something worthwhile in this state. They go there for fun, for laughs, for just checking what is it. They never cultivate the necessary discipline to make use of this state for any matter. Since we all have this ability, sometimes some people this are successful, but their experiences are very ordinary. Nothing worth mentioning except some funny and strange things that they experienced. And then they quickly lose interest and fall into the darkness again. Because they lack these basic concepts of awareness, attention, experience or experience, self-realization. This uh, solid ground is not there, so they cannot stand there for, a, for anything longer than a few days. It's just a passing curiosity. But a serious practitioner, a spiritual seeker, will make it his project to gain complete control over the state and its activities. They are happening randomly and they are happening habitually like clockwork. A spiritual seeker is not happy with this. The desires and intentions are getting expressed in this state randomly without any control. The waking state is not full of bliss. So we have the cure for that. We have the waking state practices. But that leaves a large part of the day without the bliss. And so the seeker is not happy with this situation. And that's why we want to take control of these states. There is no awareness. There is no bliss. There is no remembering of who am I. We want to fix it. And that is the purpose of these practices. They are going to last for the whole life, just like the waking state practices. Yes, you will become so good, proficient, that it will happen effortlessly. It will become your second nature to remain aware in the dreams. And you will see something amazing there that uh, because of the awareness, these dreams, they not only stop being random, sometimes they completely stop. There are no dreams, just pure bliss, whole night. The same thing is going to happen in the waking state. The unnecessary activities, they, they stop because of this light of awareness. Because the awareness is so powerful that uh, it can completely sublimate these uh, random energies that are causing a lot of trouble for a seeker. So there is poise and equanimity in the waking state because of the waking state practices. And we can have same in the dream state where the unnecessary dreams, they completely stop. You will be surprised that this can happen, but it can happen. It was reported by many people. Because as soon as the dream starts, you become aware. Or you are aware even before that. And if the dreams, they take an unnecessary turn because of the awareness, they can be stopped some imagery appears there which you don't want really. It can disappear in the next instant. The whole of the world disappears. The dream world. Gone. Just like it came. It came from nothing. It went in nothing. And we prefer the bliss. Not the violence. And the cheapness of the dream world. It serves no purpose there. And that is why it is said that uh, the yogi is always awake. Never sleeps. Never dreams. Same thing can be done to the sleep state. And that is why I said that the yogi is always asleep actually. Because why? The waking state is also considered as a dream. Sleep is our natural state. Sleep is bliss. People are going to laugh at this because we think the sleep is totally useless, lazy state. I can do so much more if I don't need to sleep. That is complete Ignorance there, stupidity. You will know the states only when you take up the practices. Sleep is the state of this universe. Sleep is not what you think it is. 
And so, dreaming is not what you think it is. It is just activity. If it is random, you don't want it. If it is not serving any purpose, you don't want it. You can play with the dreams for a while and then just like a grown-up man leaves the toys, you will you are going to leave these toys. Now dreaming, waking, sleeping, whatever. And yes, it can take some time to get to that level of maturity. The spiritual growth sometimes takes a lot of time because there are so many unfulfilled things to do here that's why we are in the human form that's why we take on the dream bodies of different kinds and so on it's all good really it's all evolution so these are the effects long term effects but uh, there can be some side effects which can be seen immediately sometimes when you start the practices of dreaming state the first effect can happen on the body if you're not careful you will spend a lot of time trying to become aware in the dream you're going to lose your sleep for that and it has an immediate effect on the body the health will start going down the beauty suffers the skin becomes dead because all this uh, rejuvenation stops because the body is not asleep it is it is thinking that uh, something important is going on and so it does not really begin the work of repair and if your will is so strong that this sleep state never arrives in the 8 hours or it happens for let us say 4 hours then it can cause some problems in the body so ensure that you don't do it too much like i said 5 minutes 10 minutes yes an expert can do it for 1 hour 2 hour that's or the whole night it is possible but by that time the body becomes adapted to the new situation the dream has nothing to do with the physical body it is the initial discomfort that can cause trouble for the body if there are diseases in the body they can become worse if there are pains in the body you will find now it is more painful because this repair work is not happening or you stop the medicines if they interfere in the dream because there are some med- medicines that uh, won't let you remain aware they put you to sleep instantly and some people stop them and then they get the health problems so that's why you need a very stable body very healthy body to begin or you begin very slowly don't do anything extreme with the sleep don't mess with the sleep just to have a good dream it takes some energy to maintain the awareness in the dream and you will find that uh, if you dream too much you will find a lack of energy in the waking state it is because the nervous system did not get a chance to recoup the spent energy so you feel tired in the waking state sometimes if you do it too much slowly it will become habitual of that new state but uh, if you do it in uh, an irregular way sometimes you don't sleep for many days and then there is no practice for many months and then one day you decide again okay i want to do this practice and that kind of practice is going to cause trouble in the body physical body so slow and steady gradual step by step that is the recommended way that will discipline the body that will discipline the discipline all other layers actually there can be effects on the mind for example some if you have some psychological disorders they can manifest very very intensely in the dreams and that uh, effect can continue in the waking state so that's why we want uh, somebody who is completely mentally healthy to practice if there are phobias or memory loss or all dementia all kinds of disorders then uh, this practice may not give you the fruits it can cause troubles for you all your fears are going to come alive in the in the full glory of a lucid dream but there can be also positive side effects like you will become very peaceful suddenly and you will become very detached in the waking state also because you have seen the truth of the illusion when there is complete awareness you can see that the dream state is just like the waking state only there is strangeness 
actually you can turn it into a complete waking state by manifesting the same rules and the laws of the physics in the dream you can do that why not if you can uh, manifest anything that means you can manifest a copy of the physical world there and now you will see that the waking state is just like the dream there are no differences at all in the way it feels and is experienced except that i have full control over the world in the dream state and that much control is not here in the waking state except this thing is exactly the same we have complete control instant control over the dream state because it is being manifested from our own memory individual memory the world on the other hand is coming from some other memory you can say universal memory similarly this physical body is also not ours really it is a borrowed structure from the universal memory we just connected to it if you recall the process of uh, taking births that we briefly discussed in the past episodes it is just a position of the already made body biological machine you can even do that in the dream state you can set up this kind of scenario there and now you will lose all the sense of what is real and what is unreal if you have maintained uh, your poise equanimity in the waking and as well as in the dreaming state you will have no trouble and you will experience a peace peace of knowledge peace of knowing the bliss the bliss of the dream state will leak into the waking and the waking state will leak into the dream they will become one and you will experience a detachment with the dream and with the waking state because you know everything here is illusion everything here is just a creation of some kind it is fake it is all fake so there won't be any attachments to objects people or even this body you know this one is also a dream body now the difference between the dreaming and waking is going to blur away it's going to fade away and you can find it sometimes you will enter the dreaming state unknowingly in the waking state especially those who are inducing the dreams it can happen automatically sometimes the body relaxes for 5 minutes and you are back in the dream because you have practiced it so much it is just like uh, some people speak the same word again and again and again in every sentence the same word appears even if it is not required that kind of language is very irritating but uh, it is a matter of habit same thing can happen in the waking state because you are habitual of inducing the dream states and uh, there will be many hallucinations in the waking state suddenly characters will appear out of nowhere in your room suddenly the your whole city changes into something else suddenly all your relatives disappear and they become frogs or giraffe or something like this now <laughs> this can be this can be bad for survival especially if you are driving and the bridge disappears or something <laughs> the road becomes a river that is why you need a complete change of lifestyle in a monastery the monks have this kind of luxury that they are not doing anything not much except growing food or begging or whatever the rest of the time they can sit and if the hallucinations happen they are not troubled too much by it because they are in complete knowledge and complete control you can be in complete control even if the dream starts without your permission which should not happen if you are in complete control so this hallucinations can happen only in the initial state for the beginners and then you will need to control them just like you control all other tendencies keep doing the checks whether i am in a dream or whether i am in a waking state for you it does not matter for for this body and your relatives probably it's a big deal if if it grows too much they will simply lock you up so that is another danger this is side effect or the reverse can happen you are wide awake but you cannot shake this feeling that i am in a dream sometimes all your checks will go positive that you are in the waking state the lights turn on the fan starts spinning and your mother does not turn into a fairy of some kind but uh, you are not sure so this can lead to a lot of confusion and delusion that's why it should be done in moderation everything should happen in moderation 
if you find that i am not suitable for these practices because they are troubling me a lot simply stop don't do it they are not really required you got to taste of it that's all we want now we talk about something really strange remember those who are inducing the dreams they are working directly on the layers especially the higher layers and this can cause uh, kundalini symptoms to appear out of nowhere because these practices they resemble a lot the yogic practices of ascending or pushing the kundalini in the higher layers kundalini is nothing it's just awareness only you are trying to do the same and then obviously the symptoms will appear sometimes they, they go out of hand and then you come to know that i did something which i shouldn't have shouldn't have done then you start finding a cure or a guru in the remote corners of the world sometimes it is so severe that you have no other choice but to live with it surrender because you pre- you press the switch which uh, puts the evolution in a high gear now there is nothing that this human can do except surrendering sometimes very rarely one in a million supernatural events can manifest remember this is also a dream so your will power your intention can take over the physical also it is possible what are you ultimately you are the greater memory also you are the higher layers also which are manifesting as this physical world so why not it can cause really weird effects in the physical world and people think they are powers when they try to do it nothing happens when they try to demonstrate it people laugh at them because it fails remember you are not doing it it is happening it is, if it is happening without control well you need a teacher now you need to reduce your intention will power and all that instead of increasing it what are these powers the powers are simply your lost abilities you are remembering them we lost all these so called powers which are not really powers it is just mother nature we are totally capable of manifesting anything or doing anything changing anything we want in the illusion because the illusion is me i am the illusion also so when you start doing all these experiments you will find that you are playing with fire here it is not controlled it can burn down the house which is not what we want the powers sometimes they appear and disappear sometimes they are so tiny and strange that we don't even notice things appear things disappear people show up hallucinations and all these symptoms they come and go and we because we don't understand especially if you are not trained if you lack all this background knowledge then you won't understand then it becomes something strange that happened remember that our intellect is based on the waking state experiences the waking state shapes our intellect our logical ability our rational ability they are all derived out of waking state experiences when we throw a coin in the waking state it comes down it lands on one of its face this is our understanding of the of the reality as we call it it is very very logical because everything happens according to laws here except some strange things like humans they do not obey laws of the physics what do you like for dinner is not written in any physics book so except that everything is happening according to the laws and that is what shapes our intellect that is what our rational mind thinks if you want to cross the river we surely are going to build a bridge to cross the river we are not going to fly across the river that's not logical now if many of your experiences hours and hours of experiences actually the time is not a very good word here seemingly long durations of experiences in the dream world they are going to change the intellect and the rational and logical abilities because now things are happening in a different way it is possible to lose our minds there will be aberrations in the mind our thinking is going to change here you must have seen all these practitioners who are mostly in these dream worlds of different kinds they look like as if insane their eyes are glowing with awareness but you cannot stand there because the dude is completely <laughs> gone it's completely insane 
the way he talks walks and all his behavior is just like an insane person now if you are in india well people know what is going on but in the other parts of uh, the world they will surely lock you up they will sedate you and inject you with whatever they want to do with you and there is not a good outcome for a spiritual seeker this is a side effect we don't want this we don't want a dysfunction of our logical and rational abilities in the waking state now if you don't have a teacher and if you are not listening to such videos you are just a newbie who is um, mad after having strange funny experiences and then these people will land up in this kind of trouble and then the mind becomes something so silly so plastic like a jelly it gets molded into who knows what and if that, that is not stopped if you don't stop your experiments completely and ground yourself in the waking state again then surely it's a road to the asylum i call these people impure people and they have not purified their intellect and so they are not ready for these kind of experiments that's why you saw all those warnings and disclaimers before we started i keep repeating those warnings do not do these practices with an impure mind purify do it under guidance so that brings us into the section on cautions and precautions yes you will need a master if you are serious about these things if you want to avoid all those undesired side effects and if you want to gain something out of this if you want to reach your objective then a master is necessary some people are going to laugh at it for dreaming do i need a master really it's not dreaming don't you see <laughs> so, in the common notion of dreaming you should leave it behind now you are a seeker the ignorant people have different kind of strange beliefs about dreaming sleeping and waking seeker knows what it is just another illusion so you need a little bit of guidance there not little a lot of guidance do not do it in extreme just like i said there will be very strange side effects if you keep doing it if it is unnecessary don't do it if you just for knowledge of the illusion just take the knowledge of the illusion come back just like i said if you keep doing these practices once in a year you get excited when you hear something like this and then you say from today i'm going to practice and then it fades away in two days because you're too busy in the waking state then it can cause uh, some problems in the waking state and it's not going to produce any fruits it's a waste of time utilize your energy somewhere else in something better do not do these practices forcefully you know i need to do this somebody told me to do this my teacher told me to do this in order to progress spiritually i must do this dream practices no it is not true all the knowledge is in the waking state your current experience is full of all the knowledge that you need you don't need to go into strange states but if you have this belief that no no i am going to get the knowledge only in this and that state after this and that control happens then you need to listen to the whole series from the beginning remember there is no difference between the waking and dreaming so it is very logical that everything that you will know in the dreaming is available in the waking everything you want to know in the waking is available in the dreaming so this is another belief and if you do it reluctantly like forcefully then it is not going to produce any results plus you will remain ignorant plus there won't be any awareness you will be tired of these practices you will leave them and that is the end of your career as a spiritual seeker don't force yourself that's why a teacher is needed you know, the teacher can notice this that you don't want it but you are doing it and the teacher can prescribe something else some people they may want something or they are using it as an escape from the waking state because they are, they don't like the waking state they hate the waking state they are afraid here too much challenge here and they want to escape into the dream world because they came to know this trick to convert the dream into whatever they want so do not do that do not practice because of uh, such tendencies of greed fear avoidance of the waking state pursuit of powers what not there is no end to stupidity there is an end to knowledge which we saw there is no end of ignorance people can do anything 
under the spell of the ignorance so if control and knowledge is not your goal then there is no use of practicing this it's not going to satisfy your greed it's not going to cure your fears and it's not going to make your waking state heavenly everything will remain as it is plus it can get worse because instead of solving the problems you are avoiding them or you are trying to get them from some la la land so here the poise is required equanimity common sense logic rationality is required purify first do not go there with an impure mind impure personality otherwise it's going to backfire the same cautions apply here which apply in the waking state nothing much different but uh, because you are getting all the desires fulfilled which is kind of illusory illusory desires illusory fulfillment do not give you any fulfillment really it's you will see that there is no fulfillment there is no satisfaction any any state waking dreaming whatever the desires they keep coming they are infinite no amount of fulfillment is going to stop it sometimes you know for a while your major desires get fulfilled and then you enter a peaceful state but because you lack any objectives you go there again in the dreaming state and a new desire appears another appears then thousand more appear and then is done you're back to the square one usually if this happens if you lose your poise if you lose your control the dream starts fading the dream turns dark again you lose this ability to remain aware because the awareness is now eaten by all this greed fear desire and all what not hate or avoidance or some kind of mental afflictions or the body gives up so normally such impure people cannot reach these states thankfully there is a full proof system in the universe already that the evil people greedy people fearful people they cannot reach here even if they reach they get a gl- glimpse of it and then the doors are shut for them if you see serious effects if you see some very bad effects stop the experiments and see if they go away if they don't you need a master you need a teacher if there are uh, signs of diseases in the body you need a doctor usually these effects will go away within days then you will return to the normal waking state and if you still want to practice you can do it in small bites for example instead of the daily schedule you can turn it into a weekly schedule because now you know it is too much some people are more sensitive some people are more talented some people are more uh, affected by these states than others for some people nothing happens they just go to sleep like a log they remember nothing which means you need to consult a teacher or you need to start somewhere else start at the beginning from the waking state if you achieve some success avoid the hubris or if somebody else achieves the success avoid the envy jealousy and loneliness about which i said a lot in the previous episodes same thing another thing that is specific to the dreams avoid violence in the dream you are a very ethical person you are a non violent person in the waking state but you know it is my dream i can unleash my power on the dream characters and dream buildings and you start breaking them and start killing people because yes it's not real your negative side shows up in the dream the suppressed side now remember there is no difference between waking and uh, dreaming and as i said there are consequences we think it is a dream but there are dream consequences now they can be of the similar nature because it's all illusion isn't it these consequences can also cause mental pain you may end up hating things you may end up not liking things you may end up with so many complexes and uh, stuff strange behaviors and so on because of your actions in the dreams if you continue the experiments yes the difference between waking and dreaming is going to blur away now the consequences are consequences everywhere they are same moreover you are playing with your own memory here <laughs> if you break something if you burn a lot of things there you have no idea what kind of damage you have caused yes it's all virtual it's all a game it's all a dream but 
then everything is a game everything is virtual everything is a dream <laughs> there can be very long lasting effects in the surrounding memory because of your intention to cause harm remember the stuff that shows up in the dream is actually nothing it is not there but simply your intention that i don't want these things here that i want to cause harm here i want to destroy things will actually start working for you your bad intention your negative intention it will start working it is just vibrations you see you get what you send now i told you that there won't be any direct consequences in the waking state that is true to some extent but there are consequences of some other kind who knows who knows what kind who knows when they will start manifesting you went there to get a whole lot of control and you are now out of control plus you have done something which nobody can control nothing in this whole universe has this power it is a big mess now so just like you behave ethically and lovingly friendly in the waking state continue with the same behavior in the dream state there is no reason to do anything else love your own memory love your own causal memory love the dream characters practice love on them help them become friends with them don't be negative some people do take their hate racism religious hatred what not and they manifest the same thing in the dreams there will be consequences these vibrations they spread out if they can spread out from the waking state why can't they go they spread out from the dreaming state one and the same memory it's the universal memory it does not matter <laughs> if it is your own personal dream it affects everything especially when you get this power to become aware in the dream now the vibrations are even stronger because of the power of the intent that they carry usually in the dreams of the ordinary person they have no power nothing usually happens there they are completely unintentional they are mechanical they are a effect rather than a cause something is causing them some mechanical activity is causing them but here the tables are turned you have the liver in your hand you have the red buttons in your hand <laughs> there is you are the player here with the joystick now you can enjoy but you cannot do anything you want that means there are impurities there that means there is ignorance there that means you don't know what are these states you don't know what are, what are these memories somebody told you that look it's an illusion you can go do this trick get up in the night and then get into the dream and write in the diary you will achieve some kind of extraordinary power to dream whatever you want and then it is all stupidity it is all downhill from this place is that is what we call a misuse of the techniques and that is why for many centuries these techniques were kept hidden not really hidden but they were not knowingly told to ignorant people now the information is free it is in the air anybody can know these things so there are more chances of misuse fortunately we have the full proof mechanisms here so something or the other will prevent the ignorant people from misusing these uh, abilities but the fall can happen any time a seeker can fall any time the seeker can gain a lot of control and uh, power in the dreams and then the fall happens some desire pops out of the causal body and then he decides to follow it the awareness dips for a while and but the power stays your abilities stay and then anything can happen so we need to avoid that kind of activity as soon as you become aware that i am doing something wrong here you stop it take control of the habitual or the violent part violent tendencies and for these reasons we do not teach it to anybody we do not teach it at least without giving them the basic knowledge or without telling all these precautions and cautions warnings and you should not do that if you see that somebody is not worthy of doing these practices which means they do not know anything then it should not be given it should not be given away willy-nilly to everyone if you think that this is going to do some good for the person then yes you need to teach everything then not only one trick you need to maintain secrecy about your practices only you should know that you are dreaming with awareness not everybody in the town 
because people they either become afraid or they treat the seekers badly because now you're too different from them difference either breeds violence fear or ridicule insult and there will be people who will try to fill you up with all kind of poison that it is against your religion it is against ethics and it is very dangerous and so on and that will stop you from doing anything spiritual in your life which means a good life is wasted because you did not maintain secrecy if you are not sure that these things are worth doing then don't do them that's all now i said you will need a teacher and again i am going to give you the same warning here that beware of the fraudulent teachers there are people who take money lots of money and they teach you this trick or that trick do this course and that course yes you can try one or two of these but awareness is the key you don't need a course awareness cannot be bought by money otherwise all these millionaires would be hyper aware gods but they are just below the animals actually so be aware of the frauds they they can ruin a whole of your spiritual life because once bitten you are not going to go to any teacher one bad experience and you are going to give up whole of your practice you will start hating the spiritual things spiritual people so become aware as soon as you see the signs of fraud don't join and lastly do not use the machines or drugs for the reasons i already told you it is stupidity of the highest kind if you don't want the experiences really you're not going there for strange experiences you want control and if the machine is controlling your dreams or if some kind of drug is doing it it is exactly opposite of your goal this is not what a seeker does this is what completely mentally retarded lazy fellow is going to do going to take the drugs or use some kind of machines to spiritually progress so i need not say more than that so here we can conclude the parts on the experiments in the dreaming state and i wish you all the best Bye.